Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot, and I'm here to do, and Cartomancy, and I'm here to do your tarot and, tarot, tarot and Cartomancy. <laughs> I get all backwards on the screen. Anyway, I've laid it all out. I do this to save time, you know, so you're not waiting for me to do all this. And um, while I was shuffling, I had a few indicators. The first one is the Emperor. The Emperor is the fourth card. And it, it, it's, it represents a lot of stability, you know. And I think this is what you want in your life now. You want stability. You, you know, and I think you want to be the, the king of your domain or queen of your domain. You want to control um, uh, or have a little more control over where you live, what you do. You know, you could be the boss, the dad, the, the one in control of the family, perhaps. But anyway, or the matriarch, the patriarch. But you're trying to make the right moves because your stability is really important to you right now. And like I said, you want more control in your life. You don't want to lose control you want. And it's not the kind of bad control. It's just, you know, being, have choices. You know, it's a big thing about choices. So in your past, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Nine of Cups, the Wish Card, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Um, I'm wondering if you've been trying to sort of master something in your life recently. It could be yourself even, okay? And perhaps you're trying to, um, you know, change, adjust something in ourselves. Like if we lay around too much, we want to, you know, per have more action in our lives. If we are negative, we want to be more positive. So we want to bring that balance out a little bit in our lives so that we can be happier, right? And, and it looks like you've been putting some hard work into this. Your self-love, self-care, spirituality, something like that, you know, so that you can... You can achieve a higher um, wellness and you're going to be successful at this. You are presently successful at it. I also feel you are also about balance in relationships now. Okay. Where there was imbalance, you are bringing into balance. Okay. You don't want, um, you want equal give and take relationships. So if I, I, I you, you want to get what you give kind of thing, okay? And the other thing is that you're getting rid of any toxic relationship, toxic behavior, toxic talk, problem people, bop, bop, anything like that that hurts you, harms you, something, you know, and along those lines, you don't want that anymore. And you're also at a point in your life where you just don't let that stuff bother you. It's not about cutting people out all the time. Sometimes it's ourselves. We are not going to take those hits. It's not about me. You know, you realize what it's all about, what's yours, what's not yours, that kind of thing. And you're getting very clear about your boundaries and what you do want in your life. And the big thing is give and take relationships, give and take. Okay. So in the present, you have the two of swords, strength. The world is in the dead center of your reading, the world. And this is complete... Uh, completion you know you a chapter is coming to an end in your life and you're about to open a whole new book here you know this is start a whole new chapter and of something and I think that it's emotional it's connecting more to your emotions whereas you've been trying to get balance a lot in your life but anyway uh, the Queen of Cups and the Moon so in the Two of Swords, it's funny you end, like you start and begin. There's a lot of moon energy and possibly eclipse energy. 
presently in your life. And I've been talking a lot about this gateway that we're in with the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse door, closing door opening. You know, you're walking through a threshold, a gateway, a doorway where you're about to make a big change in your life. You're about to make a big choice in your life, okay? Um, I feel like there's something you may have to close the door on. Um, it could be listening to somebody. It could be something you realize, but it's just very difficult for you. Um, and you want to do it with grace, you know, you want to do it with composure. Uh, perhaps this is what it's about, grace and composure of yourself or someone else. Um, but the thing is, is that it's also about trust, okay? You might also be told things by other people or hear things or being asked to judge or look at something a certain way. And you, what you're deciding to do is judge for yourself. You're deciding to trust where others may not trust, you know, where, where they may doubt or don't want to face things. I think you are able to face things, things without fear. And you just trust in the unknown. Trust that this is the right way. If it's leading me here, it must be right. Okay? So there's this sort of... Um, it's really beautiful. You know, I got to tell you... Virgo, because in this line here, because the lines go sideways, but they also go diagonal and all over the place. And this one, you know, you go from temperance, trying to gain a beautiful balance in your life, trying to make your life really tra tranquil and moderate, you know. And then this allows you to open up a lot, to be able to be non-reactive for one thing. Um, handle things with grace and trust trust life a little bit you know and then this moves on I know I haven't gotten here yet but here I am to the ace of cups where you completely are open to love and relationships and it's it's you don't fear damage anymore you don't fear relationships because of perhaps at one time you did, because, you know, you got hurt in the past here. I can see with the Ten of Swords, people have hurt you. And also, we let them hurt us and we how we took it, you know. So you're growing big time through this. So here in the world, you've learned everything now in this chapter, in this stage of your life, and you're ready to move on. You want to connect with people again. You could have gone through a time of loneliness, of, of like just sort of, you might have just had a couple of friends or a couple of family or been close to a few people, and you kind of kept your circle real small while you're healing. And now that you've completed this cycle this chapter you want to connect again you want to open up again okay you feel distant from your friends family the world okay you feel the world away and you want to close that gap all right and i think you are going to i do you could be moving even literally okay the queen of cups could be a water sign in your life cancer pisces or scorpio or someone who is deeply emotional, deep. That could be even empathic, you know, this person. Although that you, I see that sometimes in the Hierophant. But anyway, and the, and the High Priestess. But anyway, again, the moon is there, right? There is an emotional connection you're making. Um, and... And, and you realize that you want to be connected with people. You miss them, I think, okay? Whoever they are in your life. So I think you're closing those gaps, but you're um, doing it slowly because, and, and uh, because right now is a confusing time, you know, with these eclipses and all the moon energy and everything, and you're just sort of pacing yourself. 
okay? So in the future, near the end of November, look at this. So talk about the world, right? Ten of Cups, very next card, Ace of Cups. Closing the door, opening the door. In between is the threshold. Okay, so you are, oops, there's some sort of contentment, emotional contentment, great joy that you're feeling. Now, I think it's after you go through this cycle here, okay? And, and, um, and you open up. Um, in some ways you could be, I feel like you could be leaving, you're leaving something behind. Where you live, what you do, you, um, it's to be more stable and more in control of your environment, okay? Anyway, because you're looking for serenity, you want to open up and and welcome relationships, love into your life in all forms. This is what you're looking to do. And you've reached this sort of uh, graduation in the cup energy, right? Because like I said, you want to connect again. And you're, you're, you're kind of pacing yourself, but you're ready. Um, you know that, and you could, there's a, there's also a chance when you open up like this, you open your energy because you could have been guarded before you could have been well healing you know um that you could meet somebody okay there could be someone in your energy already possibly could be the emperor the boss the landlord someone who's um got the reins here you know and um and that would be someone you would be attracted to, to Virgo. Anyhow, the lovers is also about a choice, okay? We're making a choice here. We're deciding between this and that. Something that's going to provide stability. Because if you notice the chair they're sitting on is made of stone. You know, it ain't going nowhere. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of growth here. You know, a lot of growth. It's something that you can lean on, all right? Um, so you could choose, and I think there's a, I think you're moving big time, okay? Absolutely, you're moving. And I think it could be, well, I think it's probably in the new year is probably when it's going to be, Okay. You're leaving something that is completely intact. It's, there's nothing, not necessarily anything wrong with the place. It's, it's, um, but it's not for you. There's something missing for you. It's not right either where it is, you know, um, uh, who you're living with, what's going on, okay? It's not peaceful for you. It's like havoc. It's like stressful it's it's you know it's can it's it's stable you know and and you probably welcome there but it's not for you there's something missing and you need to move on at this point and this is what you're realizing in the world you i think you make your decision you know then the nine of cups and when you realize you've decided that's it because you caught probably teetered on it for a while also an opportunity could open up for you okay an availability or something a house that you like an apartment that you like a job that you like could even be volunteering you know anyhow in the cartomancy which is reading the regular playing cards these are the ones that jumped out and this is pretty interesting too ten ace doorway okay Oops, Ten of Diamonds, um, Eight of Spades, Ace of Spades, and then the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds is usually an older woman. This could be yourself or someone you know. She is mature. She sometimes has green, gray, or very pale blue eyes. She usually has white or gray hair, 
but she's mature. She could be a mother, a grandmother. She's definitely someone who has experience and could give guidance, right? Anyway, I felt feel like there was some sort of end with this person, okay? They, I, I think you stopped talking to this person, possibly, or you're going to stop. I think this has happened already, okay? But um, it might be a godsend <laughs> in some ways, you know. I also think whatever is going wrong, any problems, any communication issues, any feelings is all going to be repaired. All of it. Everything is going to work out for you. Anything negative, okay, is going to be turned around. And a lot of it has to do with you, Virgo, how you feel about you, you know, and what you want and, and all that, you know. So um, I feel like this is um, a, a, some sort of joy from this situation, someone that you weren't talking to or stopped talking to. Um, they're, you either are happier than anything that you did stop talking to them. It's given you a lot of peace and it's, it's concluded something. Or there has been a very great outcome out of this situation. Because um, this person could be a mother, grandmother, a guide. Um, like I said, it could be you too. Um, but, or the, the, the time where you were not talking has ended. Okay. So then you have the Jack of Spades, the four of diamonds and the nine of hearts. So I do want to take attention that you have both the nine of cups, the wish card in the tarot and the nine of hearts, the wish card in the cartomancy. So double that you're getting, you are working out all your problems, basically, okay? Um, one of them is financial stability. You may have been worried or concerned or got bad news in some way and, and got worried or got all upset that um, you were not going to be able to be financially stable in some way. You know, probably a lot of us are feeling this way, but again... Something's working out for you. And I think it's got something to do with your intentions, I got to tell you. Something to do with your intentions, okay? Uh, but what you do is you pause and you think about things. You pause and you think about things before you make your moves. Don't pause too long because now is the time of action, Virgo. So this is going to work out to the best uh, in favor for you, okay? Also, it could be a youngster um, that uh, caused problems, and youngster, like, depending on how old you are, they could be 30, <laughs> they could be 14, you know, I'm not sure, but um, I think it's more of news. You get some sort of news that causes you concern about your finances or security, uh, but you don't have to worry. It's all, like, it's, you're going to, be able to manifest what you want. You're going to work it out. Three of spades, jack of clubs, and the eight of hearts. Again, there's an obstacle in your way. You start talking to a friend, and this friend helps you. This friend helps you work out a solution that is, it makes you happy. You're quite pleased. You're laughing. You're, you're, you know, that's what you needed was like, sometimes we need to talk it out with someone to hear other objective ideas because we can get in that tunnel vision where all we see is just, oh, it's going to go crazy. And this person says, well, wait a minute. That's, it's not even a big problem. Look, at we could do this and this, you know. And so I feel like a friend talks you out of it, talks you through it, um, but it's <laughs> it's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. And part of it, too, is you're a bit of a smooth talker, Virgo. You may... I feel like you're softening your words, okay? 
they're softer, they're more loving, they're more kind, they're, um, and, and perhaps there was an obstacle to that before, you know, um, but not anymore, that's for sure. Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, <laughs> Queen of Spades, Seven of Diamonds, Ten of Hearts. So the Queen of Spades is single, not by choice. She's single, separated, divorced, or widowed, okay? And sometimes this person, it could be a man too, this person could be dark-eyed, dark-featured, dark hair, dark skin, doesn't have to be. But they also um, sometimes wear their pain. They're going, they're suffering, they're hurt, they've been jilted, something. And, and they wear their pain still. They're, they could have a chip on their shoulder as well, you know. And so they're carrying, um, you know. And so I think this person is, and this person could be you as well. You could be, have the dark features. You could be, have the single part of it, or you could be hurt you know suffering in some way at this point and but the thing is is that you know I really you know what I thought of as soon as I saw this card is I thought of manifestation I thought of affirmation I thought of meditation I thought of you know filling the mind with good reason you know with um with solutions options objective ideas you know what i mean and good good messages i saw this right away and i think this person is trying to heal they're trying to heal and they will be successful they will be successful but they're going through a cycle right now there's some sort of a cycle a healing cycle obviously from their separation their divorce their pain whatever it's from okay um, and then finally, you have the six of diamonds and the three of diamonds. So what I want to say, Virgo, is like, wow, the three of diamonds is the third wish card. The three of diamonds I see as the beginning of the wish starting to happen. You're starting to get things lined up, your thoughts, your finances, your plans, your ideas, okay? And you're starting to get indicators that, hey, I might be able to pull this off, or hey, this could be the right opportunity, or, you know, something like that. And I feel like you're taking steps. You could be investing in something. Um, I feel like you're taking steps financially. You could even be partnering with someone to to make an investment here i feel like this could be an investment okay of some sort whether it's a car whether it's a place a property i feel like it could be i think it's something to do with foundation to tell you the truth okay and and you could be doing it with someone okay um, it also could be small, a small, you could be downsizing in a way from what you're in or it, like I see kind of a postage stamp, you know, when I think of the property, it could be just an acre, one, one single acre, but that's all you need, man. <laughs> you don't need 90, you only need one and you can have everything you need on there, you know. So I feel like there's, um, and I feel like you're trying to invest your money wisely. You could be getting advice, maybe up here from the Queen of Diamonds, perhaps. Um, and uh, uh, someone who, I feel like someone's helping you uh, um, if, if they're not investing with you, okay? But anyway, everything is coming together everything is working out everything is happening the way you want it to it i think virgo this was a 
It couldn't have happened any faster. It couldn't have because it you needed to go through this process to get here. Okay, and there wasn't a shortcut. That's this was the only way to get here. But you're here. You're here. You're done all this work now. You know, you've worked hard and really focused. Really focused. Put in the time and energy. Okay. And now you're going to get the rewards. Um anyway. That is, it can, couldn't get any better than three wish cards. <laughs> you know, it just can't. And everything ends in a heart here. But I see you leaving something that is stable, but it's missing something for you. And that's why you're seeking what your picture is, you know, or what your new one is anyway. But, whoo, very exciting, Virgo. I hope that you can this video helps you you know in the in november and in the coming months because i have a feeling this is going to bleed into the new year i feel like your new place could be in the new year two months something like that okay um and or at least you know you've you've signed you know something you know that it's coming within two months you you know within two months so um yeah let me know in the comments if this resonates with you it's really interesting like <laughs> anyway it's wonderful really congratulations um i'll talk to you later take care